The interesting thing about PLM is how it parallels the history of ERP. ERP started out 20 years ago, 15 years ago, as uh, a solution to manage manufacturing resources. It was called MRP. And it evolved, the next evolution was MRP2, and then it started taking on other enterprise assets and other enterprise technologies, like general ledger, financials, human resources, and then entries into CRM and, and supply chain management. We're seeing the same thing happen with PLM, that years back it really just was born out of the CAD industry and CAD data management, but it has since grown and taken on other things. Imagine what we can do in PLM today and what we'll be able to do in PLM tomorrow. You talk about things like configuration management and change management. You talk about things like product analytics, being able to run hypothetical product configurations through a PLM system to determine if they're going to be good, if they're going to meet their quality requirements and their weight requirements and their regulatory requirements and commitments before you go ahead and build the product. So another way to think about it is, is, is how PLM is really starting to rival ERP. It's doing the same thing ERP did 10 to 15 years later, but it is really starting to take on uh, a life of its own as an enterprise valued system. And think about it this way. PLM is to your intellectual property what ERP is to your physical property. You wouldn't start building a new house or doing an, an addition or a new construction just by buying lumber and pouring concrete. You'd start by planning. And that's what the PLM side is, is all the digital planning that goes into it before you then commit to making products.